Hey, I thought I'd do a little uh, progress report and maybe give a little bit of feedback and also talk about my future with Dynasty Warriors 9. Now, I've been playing a lot off camera and off stream because uh, you won't believe how much troubleshooting I've had to do with this game uh, just to get it to not devour all the resources of my computer. And even then, it still happens all the time. So, I'm still waiting for a patch, but I just wanted to let people know I haven't, like, abandoned you all. I know I've gotten, like, a couple hundred extra subscribers from covering this game, and I'm very thankful for that, but at the same time, I have to watch out for the safety of my computer. So I've been playing this pretty sparingly, maybe like an hour or two a day. Uh, before the embargo was up, I was pulling pretty much like a regular work day, like up to eight hours around there, maybe like six to eight hours. And then uh, ever since I've noticed my computer kind of freaking out a little bit, I've had to scale things back. But now I have everyone unlocked except for Wen Yang, which I don't particularly care for because he's got the stupid professional pizza cutter <laughs> for his weapon but I unlocked him and he's a lot of fun so I want to play as him for a bit today I have to admit uh, in terms of my future of playing this I, I know that they're going to iterate and improve and polish this game a lot during the uh, you know the patches and stuff that they'll be doing along with the season pass so I haven't wanted to get myself in a situation where I'm playing the game too much and I get burnt out and then I come back and they change the game drastically. Uh, I don't really think that's going to be good for anybody so once I get everyone unlocked I'll probably mess around with some of the clones and then at that point I'll just uh, you know maybe move on to something else at least temporarily. Ah, I hate when it's nighttime. Let me uh, move really quick. Like see right there, it's doing the pause on the uh, the menu. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. That was kind of my issue with Dynasty Warriors 8. Like by the time that they fixed that game, a lot of the problems that I had with it, the game was, uh, you know, I had already played it like a hundred hours or something. <laughs> I was like really burnt out. So I haven't wanted to get into a situation where I repeat that and then they come around and, and do a complete 180 with this game and fix a lot of my issues with it. I don't really think that's a good uh, situation to be in, so... They have already done uh, quite a bit of damage control. They've already mentioned that they want to... They basically did a 180 on all the uh, or back pedal. On saying that uh, you know the weapons were re the fun weapons were removed because of the realism or the how unrealistic they were. They basically said that they uh, finally admitted you know hey there's like 90 characters now we can't <laughs> make everyone unique and make this big empty open world in the same game. So I think that's pretty good progress on their part. So I'm going to fight some bandits for a bit and then I'll probably just talk about uh, some things I'd like to change. I'd like them to change with the game.
Now, Swillow put up a uh, he put up some feedback for the game, uh, and I agree with pretty much everything he said. One of the issues I have with this game is there's just not enough accessory space for things you actually need. Like, for instance, things like the gold crown, the beastly mirror, the wind fire wheels should be things that you should be able to unlock through like a skill tree or something. Like, say you get a character to a certain level or you spend skill points on it. I think that would be, that would give her so much more, or allow for so much more variation than what the game has now. Like, basically, if you want to play this game for fun, and you want to, you know, actually explore the combo system, then you're pretty much going to need to have these three accessories on at all times. And if you actually want to get any loot from the bandage, you're going to have to put the gold crown on. So that gives, like, almost no variation at all. It's something that I'd really like them to change. I think that the... The levels are pretty pointless, like the only stat that most people are pumping points into is speed and power, like there's no real point in putting <laughs> points in anything else, and you can already one shot everything with a bow, why would I spend any points on bow skill? Now stamina, you know, is probably another one that you could put points into, but there's just not enough points in general, and you also can't respec, so this this part of the, the game just feels half-baked in general, I think they should allow for more customization by you know letting you unlock a lot of this stuff permanently like maybe you could spend the currency for it or something maybe after you've unlocked all the ultimate weapons or the epic weapons you could you know, spend coins to unlock these skills for each character I think that would be really fun I think if they tied it to level it would be really grindy uh, you would pretty much have to play through someone's story mode or, or be lucky enough and have them late in the story mode so that the game uh, automatically adjusts their level I think that would be a great for this game's longevity overall. I am kind of getting bored of how I can't like mess around with any of the other accessories because these ones pretty much have to be on at all times and there's not enough room. Also it could use more uh, mechanics changing accessories. I hope that the... let me go back to the fight so I'm not just talking. I hope that the DLC is not just gonna be you know more uh, more of the same, you know more of these same enemies. I hope that they have some extra loot in there as well. I think that would be really great. I already have like all the best stuff in the game, so if the DLC is just the same thing again, I don't really think that's gonna be a good hook. At least for me. annoying thing about the bandits is they can hit you while they're off camera and they also hit you in the air as well. I don't think I'm uh, strong enough to do this in normal. That's another problem with this game is like the difficulties. On normal you're basically untouchable and on hard on chaos you get one shot. It, it feels like completely off. Like if you play the game on normal the game's going to be completely devoid of challenge. Hard is, is pretty good, except for when you fight the bandits. When you fight the bandits, it seems like they can just kill you in one combo. And then Chaos, uh, the the uh, bandits will pretty much just one-shot you. <laughs> it feels like the balancing with the bandits is off. Uh, they're massive HP sponges, which is why most people, aside from like the high-level players, are not really fighting them legitimately. They're all just using the exploding arrows in stealth. <laughs> Also, a lot of the um, a lot of the epic weapons, like they have really low attack on them. Like they'll have like really high defense, but crap attack, so you can't like really uh, use them for damage per se, unless you, uh, you pump your damage or your power into other means. I see how quick they go down now. If I put it on hard, they be instantly become HP sponges. The AI doesn't change very much, it's mostly just they get their damage jacked up. Which is obviously a problem plaguing pretty much any game with uh, you know a combat element. Most games anyway. Oh! 
There we go. <laughs> I am still learning how to play Zim too. All those guys just phased out of existence, apparently. <laughs> I think this guy has the best uh, unique trigger attack I've seen out of like the whole roster. At least two I've played so far. Obviously there's like 90 characters in the game, so I haven't tried all the clones. So I'm gonna fight through another group here and I'm going to explain how the clones work. Obviously the clones have been the source of a lot of uh, complaints and clickbait and stuff. I thought I'd show how they actually work. Now that I have uh, everybody but Wen Yang unlocked. Find another group. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I have a, uh, a rare horse now. Apparently, the rare horses uh, max on stats around level 80 to 85. I'm not sure exactly what level, but around the 80s to the early 90s, uh, they un unlock pretty much base or, or max stats. So. I went ahead and reset for one. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do that uh, after this group. And then I will go into explaining the clones. Come <laughs> on. 
Alright, let me uh, go back to town really quick so you guys can see. I think they're going to polish this game a lot. I think that they're going to expand on it a lot uh, beyond the season pass because they need to do so much damage control with this game. That's kind of why I haven't wanted to get myself in a situation where I play it for like a hundred hours or something and then they completely make things better. But anyway, uh, first I need to save. So you notice uh, all the horses are, are pretty regular right now. They're all 5,000 to 10,000. If you find the horse for 50,000, then that one will be rare. Now I'm not going to reset until it happens because that can take, I think it took me like 10 minutes to get it to work the first time. But I'll go ahead and I'll show that the uh, the stable NPC inventory actually changes every time you reset the game. See, he's got a whimsical one, which means that uh, they have better stack growth. I'll go ahead and I'll reset one more time. Maybe the game will be nice. Alternatively, you can fast travel to each town, but I think this is probably a little bit faster. Yeah, so now he's got more uh, 10,000 ones. So now I'm going to go into... Uh, that basically explains uh, how you can get a rare horse. Apparently you can basically make the, uh, the special horses obsolete that way. Uh, my rare maple is only level 18 so I can't entirely confirm that but apparently the special horses don't have their special properties that they did before you know where they would uh, like regenerate Muso or make it so that you couldn't get knocked off it doesn't seem like this game has that at all so if it is true that the rare horses max on stats which like I said I can't confirm yet then there's no real point in getting red hair and stuff unless you <laughs> just want it for aesthetics so I'm gonna go into how the clones work now So you've seen me play as Ling Tong. I'll go ahead and I'll play as him for a little bit. So you can see some of his unique attacks and then I'll play as Guan Suo. Some of the some of the weapons have like three or four clones, so I don't want to go through that many. I'm just gonna use a weapon that only has uh, one clone. This is one thing I'd like to, to polish about this game, is make it so that you don't have to keep taking off your gems. It, it feels so pointless. After you've played the game for a couple dozen hours, you get really tired of doing this every single time you, uh, you change characters. Same thing with the horse as well. Like the horse, you shouldn't need to go to a stable to change it, you should just be able to have it on automatically. Ah, oh, messed up the stealth. Okay, so I'll go over some of his uh, basic strings here. Here's his basic S string. There is his, uh, his knockdown. Here's his aerial. So I'll be able to notice the differences when I play as Bon Suo. Oh, 
Honestly, in free mode, they should make it so you can just turn off these cutscenes. Sometimes you're stuck skipping like four cutscenes before you actually get control of your character. Taking forever. <laughs> More cutscenes. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I'm gonna go over to the lower level bandits over here. Hopefully they spawn. Oh, some regular mooks over here, so that'll work. So you notice his basic uh, S-string is different. You notice that's different as well. And you're gonna get some bad news here really quick, as soon as I find some dudes to fight. <laughs> I hate to be the bringer of bad news, but Wanswo, at least from my experience, is one of the worst characters in the game. For one major reason, which I will explain really quick here. Notice he rolled out of that. Now, normally, when you do an attack like that, it's supposed to connect the whole way so that you can actually continue. What happens is his knockdown trigger just doesn't work like it's supposed to. Every time he gets that final roundhouse kick, the AI will tech out. So that basically makes him unusable. Like that. <laughs> so he has a unique uh, finisher as well for his uh, aerial streak. I'll go ahead and I'll show his uh, trigger again. Knockdown trigger. Yeah, they will roll out of it pretty much every time. No, it's a shame, his moveset's actually pretty fun, but due to the knockdown trigger combo like not actually working, you can't really use them like you'd want to. That's basically how the clones work. Uh, how many unique moves they have, or triggers, or flow attack strings uh, varies per character. Some of them are like, from what I've seen or heard, they, like, they'll be like almost completely different. They'll just have the same weapon and they'll share like a couple moves, and then there's other characters that really only have like one or two unique strings. So I'll go ahead and I'll show one more for good measure here. So you've already seen me play as Juron quite a bit because I had to use him for like half the game. So I'm not gonna play as him again to kind of keep the video a little shorter, but I will show Zhou Yu's unique triggers.
So he has a unique kind of rising high time type launcher, and his aerial string also ends with a Helmbreaker. Now his knockdown trigger is basically the same. He just does the kind of Helmbreaker type thing, but the rest of it is basically identical. You know, that's a little different towards the end, and also his uh, basic flow attack or his strength is different as well. Oh yeah, that's basically how the clones work. That's a little bit of my feedback on the game and some gameplay of a couple of the more varied characters I haven't really explored yet. And also why Guan Suo sucks. <laughs> I hope that they'll fix him. I would like to use the Nunchaku moveset more, but uh, unfortunately the only real way you can use it is uh, with somebody else, or you can use it with Ling Tong. You can't really use it with Guan Suo because his uh, knockdown trigger is broken. There's some of my feedback on the game. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, you can let me know. Uh, like I said, I only have one more character left to unlock, so I'll probably check out a couple of the movesets I haven't tried yet, and then uh, unless I find anything else to make guides for, I'm probably going to take a break because I think that they're going to polish this game pretty quickly. And like I said, I, I don't want to repeat a situation like I had with Dynasty Warriors 8 where by the time that they had polished it, I was really burnt out. Like right now, I'm about 55 hours into it. I don't want to dump another 45 hours into it and then find out they're going to make it massively better so uh, I probably will play this uh, maybe at a reduced activity it depends on when the uh, the patch comes and if the patch actually fixes the issues I'm having with running this uh, in the event that it does then I will play it more but even then I might scale things back a bit so thanks for understanding I hope uh, all of you new subscribers like to check out the other content that I do I do play a lot of other Musou games I play a lot of other beat-em-ups and platformers a lot of indie games so uh, if you're waiting for patches and the season pass and stuff like I am, then uh, you should definitely check out the other content I do. I do upload uh, every day at midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time, so every day there will be a new video. Sometimes it will be this, sometimes it will be an overview, sometimes it will be a guy, sometimes it will just be random uh, mic muted gameplay. So definitely check out all my stuff at midnight, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.